In our last video, we took a tour of the upper decks of the MSC Divina. Now join me as we head downstairs to tour the remainder of this magnificent ship. Hello everybody, this is Travelin' Joe and welcome back to part 2 of our tour of the MSC Divina. If you enjoy this video, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Also make sure to stick around to the end and I'll tell you my favorite part of the trip. We covered decks 14 through 18 in our last video. Now we're going to head down and cover decks 5, 6 and 7. All of the ship's interior dining, entertainment, bars, and retail are located on these three decks. Let's start on deck 7 and work our way down. Starting on deck 7 forward, we have La Luna Piano Bar. The bar opens at 6 p.m., but sometimes they have daytime trivia here. As the name suggests, the bar offers a piano and live music. The bar specializes in martinis and offers a signature martini menu. And during the evening, the bar features a musical duo. There's also a beautiful dual staircase between La Luna and the casino. Next is the Golden Jazz Bar. While the bar opens at 5 p.m., during the day they have trivia and name that tune. The lounge features large golden sofas and chairs and modern bubble lights. During the evening, this place is a lot of fun. Just adjacent to the Golden Jazz Bar is the Sports Bar. The bar features two bowling alleys. You can watch your favorite sports on the many TVs located in the bar. The bar features classic American food as well as a variety of beers and lagers. Next up at Midship is Cafe Italia. The cafe serves all types of coffees and specializes in Italian coffee. While not a coffee drinker myself, I'm told this is the best coffee on the ship. There are two retail outlets on Deck 7. La Perfumeria offers a great selection of perfumes from Calvin Klein, Ego Boss, and Lancome. The other retail store is the MSC Logo Shop. Here you'll find all types of apparel, baseball caps, plush toys, and other gifts and souvenirs. Remember, you can use your cruise card to make all your purchases on this ship. La Cantina de Baco Wine Bar offers a wide selection of wines from Italy and around the world. For all you wine connoisseurs, don't miss the daily mini wine tasting. There's also a pizza kitchen, and the pizza here is very popular. Toward the aft of the ship is the photo shop. Here you can purchase digital cameras and other accessories. You can also purchase an all-inclusive digital photo package. And be sure to check out the gallery, which features vintage photographs. Butcher's Cut is a modern American steakhouse. This is a specialty restaurant and has an upcharge. 
I didn't get a chance to dine here, but if you have, leave me a comment below. Finally, at the rear of the ship, you'll find the black and white lounge. This is a large, elegant lounge that offers picturesque views of the aft of the ship. There's a large bar which offers up the standard bar menu. The decor features black and white marble with silver accents. You'll find an extra large dance floor and entertainment is provided nightly. Popular activities also include the Silent Disco and the Quest Game Show. Okay, that does it for Deck 7. Let's head down to Deck 6. All the way at the front of the ship, you'll find the Pantheon Theater. This is an ultra-modern two-deck theater. The seats are bright red and have alternate high and low backs. This theater was very open and didn't seem to have any obstructed views. There are usually different shows each evening and the first show begins at 7.45. The show that I attended was Autumn in Paris. One of the most popular spots on the ship is the Venetian Casino. Here you'll find a wide selection of slot machines as well as table games. The casino also offers a full service bar. This is the only area of the ship where cash is used and be advised this is a smoke free casino. Just off the casino floor you'll find a video games arcade. This is one of two arcades on the ship. The other is located on deck 16. At midship you'll find the Piazza del Doge. This is a Venetian themed round cafe that offers gelato and other treats. There are plenty of seats and this is a great place to grab a coffee and some pastries in the morning. During the evening you can grab a drink and listen to live music. There are also complimentary snacks available. And many of the shops set out jewelry and watches throughout the day and the evening. On the outside perimeter of Piazza del Doge you'll find some retail stores like La Boutique and the El Giallo Jewelry Store. There's also a cigar lounge which is enclosed and features a humidor. At the mini mall you can purchase discounted items such as alcohol, watches, handbags and other items. Next we head to the center of the ship overlooking the ship's atrium. Here you'll find the Silver Lounge. The Silver Lounge opens at 4 p.m. and is the perfect place to relax. There's no entertainment or music at this lounge, but there is a lot of foot traffic. This is a very active area of the ship, so if you're into people watching, this is the place to be. Just beyond the Silver Lounge is the Cruise Consultant. Here you can plan a future cruise. And here you'll find the Excursion Office. The office is open at 6 p.m. and they can help you with all your excursions on your trip. 
Next is Lango Delegato. Here you'll find a variety of custom jewelry, all at tax and duty free savings. Be sure to check your daily planner for additional discounts. As we move to the rear of the ship, we'll find the first of the two main dining rooms. The Black Crab is the larger of the two main dining rooms. The room is decorated in black, gold, and purple, and there are plenty of tables. There are actually two floors to the restaurant, both on Deck 6 and Deck 5. Dinner has two seating times, and they also serve breakfast and lunch. And at the rear of the ship is the second main dining room, Villa Rosa. Villa Rosa is decorated in red, gold, and black, and has sweeping views of the rear of the ship. Both the Villa Rosa and Black Crab share the same daily menu. And finally, we move to Deck 5 and the ship's main atrium. As mentioned in the last video, this is the main focal point of the ship. This is the heart of the ship and has numerous large couches and chairs to take in the atmosphere. Entertainment is provided from late afternoon till well into the evening. There are pre-dinner piano and guitar concerts every evening. Although the atrium can get crowded, you shouldn't have a problem finding a seat. And while the music is terrific, the star of the show in the atrium are the crystal staircases. These Wawaski crystal staircases have been an iconic feature of MSC cruises. And besides being beautiful, they are also functional as they connect decks 5, 6, and 7. Adjacent to the atrium is the atrium bar. This was one of my favorite spots on the ship. You can grab a cocktail, get a nice comfy chair, and listen to some piano music in the atrium. And also adjacent to the main atrium is guest services, which is available 24-7. The remainder of Deck 5 is made up of the bottom portion of the theater, some cabins, and the first floor of the main dining room. The bottom decks are reserved for crew, but there is a medical center on Deck 4. Before we wrap things up, let's head back upstairs to Deck 14, and I'll show you my favorite part of the cruise. Here's my favorite part about cruising, regardless of what cruise line you choose. Being on the deck of a cruise line during sunsets is a very special time. Everything seems to take on a different feel. For those who have cruised multiple times, you probably know what I'm talking about. For those of you who are new to cruising, make sure you take some time to enjoy this spectacle. Watching a sunset from the middle of an ocean conjures up so many emotions. For a few minutes you can forget all your troubles and really appreciate the beauty of this world. And to me, that's what makes cruising so special. And once the sun does set, the ship really comes to life. There are movie nights on deck, karaoke under the stars, and numerous dance parties and after hours clubs. And that completes our tour of the MSC Divina. Please make sure to subscribe and check out our other videos. Thanks again for watching.